Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In case you're new here, I'm Kim. This is Core Union. I wanted to talk a little bit today about not allowing anyone else in your reality to shape who you are and that the dreams that you have are for you and the dreams that you have are a bridge to you being the best version of you. Sometimes our dreams lead us to something even better. And sometimes our dreams are actually who we were created to be. But no matter what, if it's something deep inside of you and you feel the calling and you're inspired to do it, don't allow society, your parents, family, friends, or any program, negative programming of anything that you see or hear tell you otherwise. Yes, sometimes we might be on a path where we're doing something we don't quite love so much, but when we answer to that calling and we trust in God and we realize that the only reason why this dream is even in me is because I was literally designed to do this. So if I don't answer to this calling, if I don't at least take a step forward towards it, then I'm technically doing a disservice to God, universe, source, because those seeds that are planted in me they're supposed to unfold, to create something. And sometimes when we answer to it, it actually turns out that that thing, whatever it was that was our dream, was just a bridge to something else, right? That is something too. The point is be flexible. Don't be so, don't be so um, willing to give up because of some negative stuff that somebody said, but also be gentle with yourself if you do follow a different path. And trust that when you do step forward, you take one step towards what it is that you want, you are now creating. You are the only creator in your reality. No one else is the creator in your reality. So don't allow, again, anyone else in your reality outside of you to create who you were created to be. There's only one creator. And that is how you were designed. You were built to fulfill whatever this mission is. You were built to fulfill that. And it could be anything. It could be, again, something that leads to something else. Who knows? But if you're inspired to do it and it feels good, you take a step towards it. Universe God Source is literally going to give you all of the resource needed. And when you do this in trust and surrender, then things will happen much quicker than they would if you, if you didn't trust. Okay, so I want to tell really quickly about George Lucas because... He's very, his story is very inspiring. When, when he was younger, he wanted to become a race driver and he almost got killed. And when he survived that, his attitude was, okay, I have, I have extra material here. Every day that I wake up is bonus. It's a bonus. So what ended up happening? He didn't allow anything to get in his way of just really going for what he wanted. And what he wanted deep down was to create Star Wars, an epic series of movies that literally changed the fabric of our entire world with stories in science fiction, movies. And he was a pioneer in that space. So that accident, was a bridge. And even though it seemed that his dream was to become a race car driver, right? He did take action towards it. And yeah, it was a bad situation and who knows why, right? But it was just a bridge to something else that was even greater. But the point is he stepped towards something that was completely unknown with a ton of trust and like an attitude like, F it, why not? This is bonus material and I'm just going to go for it. So what would you do if you knew you couldn't fail? What would you do? I know for me that I've also been in, I had an experience in my life where I literally lost everything. I lost everything. So now there's not much that I fear. Do I still have fears, worries, and doubts? Of course, I still have insecurities. I still spiral down. I still have my doubts, but I have a ton of courage. I'm extremely brave. And when things start to get me down, that just inspires me to get up and be stronger and go for what I want even more and to go deeper into my trust and deeper into my faith. Okay, so I really want you guys to comment down below and tell me 
What is it that you're manifesting? What is it that you want to create in your life? And instead of telling me the old story in your comments, please write in the comments what it is that you were created for and how you know that you are that. And in the comments below, say thank you and I receive it and I know that this is done. Thank you, I receive it and I know that this is done. Okay? I love you guys so much. Comment down below and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Nothing can come, nothing can come, nothing can come between us.